All right, so I wanted to do a dedicated video on this sleeping bag. Um, so a couple comments first. My wife and I already own, I think, seven sleeping bags of varying temperatures, all backpacking style. And last year when we went on our 30-day national park trip, we didn't want to sleep in two of them the whole trip. We, you know, sleeping bags, backpacking sleeping bags are designed to keep you as warm as possible for as little as possible material to keep everything lightweight. And they do that pretty well. The downside is, you know, your feet are sort of trapped at the bottom. Um, they're not nice for tossing and turning. They don't have a ton of adjustability built in um, for the temperature range. And as a couple, you know, you feel like you're sleeping in two totally different sleeping bags because you are. So we basically brought a bunch of bedding last time. We brought some blankets and a comforter and we thought that, that would be nice to kind of, um, yeah, just be more together and that kind of thing. In the end, it was kind of a pain. It was super bulky. We ended up always getting a draft down the middle. Um, you know, I would sleep this way, she would sleep that way, and there would always be a draft. We would kind of tug on, each, you know, the, the covers. The covers would fall off the mattress and sometimes get wet if it was raining. Um, so it ended up just not being that good of a solution. So we looked around and we decided on this double sleeping bag from Kelty. There's another one from the North Face that we considered, but I didn't like the way that you got the different layers for temperature. Um, so the way this one works is there's this, um, yeah, the upper red layer. And basically each person can unzip it on their side. You can also unzip it this direction to throw your feet out if it's warm. And then you can also completely remove it if uh, it's super warm. When you peel that, and that's, I mean, it's fairly thick. When you peel that back, you get these two blue layers that each person gets to kind of control on their own. Um, and they have these little loops and toggles at the bottom. They don't work that well. These things are too big. And so if you do toggle them, they come out in the middle of the night and they don't have a zipper up the middle and they don't have toggles up here. And that's one of the criticisms that I would have. Before to the criticisms, I will say, we're really happy that we bought this. We got it on uh, Amazon open box or something like that. So we got it, I think 20% or 30% off of what it cost. I don't remember exactly what it is now. Um, on this trip, we've been as low as 38 degrees Fahrenheit, which is not that cold. And we've been fine um, basically in like a sweatshirt and fleece pants. So uh, we haven't yet tested it down to the 20F standard. But what's nice about it is you maintain a lot of the characteristics of bedding where you're close to your partner, you can share one another's warmth. <laughs> if you're getting cold, you can cuddle in the middle of the night, that kind of thing. Um, but you also kind of have your own flap of the blanket, if you will, that you can control for yourself without affecting your sleeping partner too much. Um, that's really good. It also has some of the characteristics of a sleeping bag where you don't get a draft down the middle as much and um, it doesn't fall off the sides. So I think, I think it's well done. Um, I would buy it again if it got lost tomorrow and I don't think I would experiment around with the North Face one or I think Sierra Designs has one, I can't remember. I would probably buy this one again. What I don't like is um, it's a little bit too big for us. We're not exactly average uh, people, I guess. I'm six foot, 170 pounds. My wife's, well, I don't remember, five, six, 125 pounds, something like that. So the whole thing feels a little too big and bulky. And um, that creates two problems. For one, it's a bunch of extra air that you have to heat with your body that then um, keeps you from getting as warm. Also, if you kind of tuck your head underneath this loose, application of a hood then you know it feels like there's all this waste at the bottom that you're not using and if you go all the way down then you can't really use the hood the other criticism that i would have is that these can't be zipped together i think they really should have just put a zipper so that you can have both layers um, or have at least some toggles and some loops along the way i'm going to try and add some toggles and loops at the top i think that would improve it because what happens in the middle of the night is you kind of pull this over on you, but then as you twist and turn, it ends up getting kind of all bunched up here. So I'll say this, this is not a backpacking sleeping bag by any means. This is car camping through and through. And in car camping, you don't worry about weight and bulk as much. So you can't compare something like this with 
these three, which are all mummy style backpacking. I think this is a great compromise. I'd make one or two changes. I would definitely buy it again. If you can sew or you know someone who can sew uh, or you wanna add some grommets or something, I think that makes a big improvement. But by and large, very happy with it. And um, I think it's a really big improvement over two mummy sleeping bags from a couple's perspective. And I think it's a really big improvement over bedding um, from like a draft and performance perspective. The last thing I'll say is we have a blanket that's not in here that the kids use in the back seat sometimes when it's windy. And we've been using that on us first. It's a relatively thin blanket, but what it does is it kind of fills in the gap that you end up having between your bodies here because you do still get a little bit of a draft. So um, yeah, I hope that's helpful. And uh, if you get it, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, yeah, sleep, sleep warm out there. <laughs>